Well, here we are. Colt polyurethane belt joining. It's famous color. You can see a lot of YouTube videos on it. You gotta get a kit and all that stuff. So what I do, I take a heat gun, put it in the vise, take a heat gun, heat at least two inches up and down, then at the very end until it gets glassy and soft and gooey and then grab it, put it together and put it in this little device I have here to hold it in place. Push it together and let it sit for a half hour, traditional stuff. This is one I finished. I actually wanted this on here, up here, as well as preferably underneath as well because the um, pulleys on the Worthington All Drive are open, so all I need is this surface, which I'll file this stuff down so it's perfect V. I prefer it would be leather and get some leather belting and make it about this thick and then cut on each side as V. But anyway, we'll see if this stuff holds. I'll let it sit for a half hour, of course, got hot as, as reasonably possible. It's not much there, energy in pounds. A little bit difference, but not too much. We'll see if the thing works. If not, then I'll get some, go the other way and get uh, link belting. Found it on McMaster car. Four feet of it for 90 bucks. This is uh, four feet for 40 bucks. So hopefully this will work for the Elgin Lays. Interesting stuff. Although I don't like plastics in that really, but anyway, <laughs> what do you do when you live in a shoe? I'm gonna get ready and I'm not gonna film me doing that night. I find it kind of distractive. But we'll see, I mean, it's, um, it's interesting. I'm more familiar with making flat belts for flat belt machinery. I had a one inch lathe, lathe, a relay, and other old lathe years ago when I was a kid. I had to make my own flat belt. I got a flat belt headstock here. That's the one I showed in the video. The other day, I'm just working on getting it loosened up here. Dried out grease. So I just got it yesterday. I didn't really have a chance to do anything with it yet. But I'll clean out the Babbitt bearings. Make sure everything is great. Good meshing gears. Back gearing, you know, kind of rush sounding thing, but they just need cleaning out. <laughs> and what else? Good heavens, Major. Barbara, where's my hot chocolate? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we see that some people like it my stupid videos and others are so disappointed oh you're so smart was it that is something or other you were smart what, 20 10 years ago or something i got the most weird people internet people you know you don't know don't make from a hole in the ground anyway so this is the worthington all drive again and the bump on top doesn't interfere with anything. As well as underneath it. As long as it's tapered. 
So the fun part about all this, I gotta take this apart again to put belts on. Whereas the link belts, I can probably do it as it sits like this. And then eventually I put it together. And stick it back in that uh, Elgin lathe back there. The other belts, I tossed them already. They were reinforced belts and rubber. I actually used string. Interesting, you use string around them to reinforce them. Good belts. They were good belts. I, I don't know where to get those things or where to get them made or need. But anyway. Hmm. I got another video. <laughs> Got this running okay, an old teletype machine. Punch. Information punch transmitter and receiver. I used to work and have this kind of stuff. You can put this whole system through a, a radio transmitter, through a modem, which I have. I have the modem, never used, I believe and transmit a message somewhere some with a receiving unit. The modem is, um, where did he go to? <laughs> you gotta love this old stuff. 110N. Can we zoom in on this? Or it's gonna be fuzzy. It's even got a little tiny screen here to show your signal. Go closer. Microphone speaker remote. Auxiliary. DC loop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old DC loop stuff. So this old unit will give you your dots and dashes kind of thing or signals. I do have transmitters that probably go with it, these guys. 100 watts out. PRC 47. I've got wood have matching cables. I have another PRC 47 down here. And I actually used um, one of them to talk to somebody in Hawaii who was on a ship. Got some of these from Fair Radio, by the way in my apartment to somebody in the ocean. Vancouver, getting close to Hawaii on a ship, doing an operation. Weird adventures. Anyway, <laughs> going on and I... <laughs> Barbara, where's my hot chocolate? Barbara, where's my hot chocolate? Oh, yes, Major. <laughs> Let's see what else to do. Expecting another delivery of one of these little cataract lays I got from somebody. Anyway, all fun and games. Sunday today, nice and warm. At eight minutes, nine minutes. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I get to work. <laughs>